Oh my God, I love it. I'm getting one. Good morning guys, welcome to today. Sophie's doing school, she's got a little tutor with her. I'm trying to stay out of their way so that um, she can get the most that she can from the tutor. She's using the same tutor that Gabby used, same tutor that taught Gabby to love math. Gabby loves math above everything else. Clearly, she's a good tutor because I do not love math. I got a new, I got another a bill from the vet today. I thought I was done with bills. <laughs> I thought it was all paid up, but I guess the, some of the last tests that came in weren't on the first bill. So another bill to pay for Chino Bambino. Actually never got bills in the mail from the vet before. Usually the vet comes and he tells me how much it is and I pay it right away. So I've never had to like be billed before. This is the first time we've gotten really into like the heavy duty, the bills that keep coming and coming. So even after you've done like the appointment, there are more bills and more bills and more bills from all the work and all the tests and stuff that he had done. So it was an eye-opening experience for sure. Definitely worth it. All right, so Sophie's done her tutoring. She's not done school though, she's doing art. I wanna tell you guys what she's doing for school. She's doing her art right now, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. But anyway, while Sophie was being tutored, I was able to get a lot of stuff cleaned up. It might not look like it, um, but I was able to clean out all of our work boxes. This is Gabby's work box, this is Sophie's work box. I was able to clean off my desktop. This was all full before. The whole thing was filled with video stuff. Um, I was able to organize all this. I know some people are super interested in the kind of things that the girls do at homeschool, but now that it's just Sophie, I thought I would tell you. Um, so this year for grade nine, Sophie, or at least for this semester, go, Sophie's doing literature and composition. She's doing algebra. Last year she did pre-algebra. She's doing world history, grade nine to 12. She's doing biology lab, which is from grade nine to 12. She's doing, so those are all her um, compulsory credit. And then for her elective, she's doing drawing professionally, which is six to 12, computer one and foundation. So she's doing all these seven subjects. Well, switch it up in January and she'll do a whole new set of subjects, but those are the ones that she's doing now and she's loving it. This is day two of free ranging our chickens. All we did this morning was open the door <laughs> and let them come out, but it's way too hot for them. So they, Molly, stay. Ellie, Ellie, these are not for you, Ellie. Ellie, these are not for you. <laughs> They're not for you. So every time I come outside, I try and bring a little snack so that they'll come out and they'll greet me. So these are the three brave ones, the rooster, the barred rock, and our, and Ellie. Ellie thinks she's a chicken. Uh, what's that one called again? It's uh, the black one. What's it called? Kelly. <laughs> no, the black one. Black yeah, that's the black copper moran. These are all of our babies that we bought from Tractor Supply. Oh, one of the silkies is out. So I throw... Ellie, come on. <laughs> come on, you can't be in there. Come on. So I try and throw a treat in there too so that they can have some. Silkies are out, so. We're taking Gabby's car today because it can't just sit, it has to be driven. When she gets her full license, she'll be able to drive her car to school, so that will be nice for her. Anyway, I'm pretty sure lessons will be canceled tonight. I'm hoping that they won't be. It seems like lessons have been canceled so much this season because of weather. So hopefully fall will be like the best season for riding and it won't be canceled all the time. But anyway, we are at our favorite little pumpkin patch because oh here comes Sophie here comes another friendly dog be nice be Molly. nice be nice Molly be nice good girl good girl good girl Molly good girl good girl what a good girl Good girl, Ellie. <laughs> Good girl. She's just a baby still. <laughs> That's adorable. 
We have white pumpkins, I love them. And we have a little bathtub that's kind of like this, just bigger. It's super cute. I love that. I love what they did with it. I love this little place. This is our favorite apple place. This is what we need, just a little pond like this. Look at how cute they are. Look at those ducks, Sophie. I've never looked at ducks as nice as much as I have now. So the funny thing about this dog is that they've had more than one dog on this farm and then they got old like the last one got old and passed away and it was named Sophie so anytime they have to get a new dog they name it Sophie <laughs> so all their dogs have been named Sophie She's so Sophie and I have been talking about getting an emu eventually and then Sam found this ostrich farm and then we're like Maybe we'll get an ostrich. Oh my God, I love it. I'm getting one. Yep, this is yep. the next thing on our farm. Oh my gosh, they're both beautiful. I thought I liked emus better. I like them both. They have a ton. I'm gonna ask them if they sell hatching eggs because being able to hatch them, yeah, it's gorgeous out. We'll be able to ride today. I can't believe it. Look at it, it's so freaking adorable. I love it. So I watch some channels on TikTok of emus, some emu channels, and I've always thought they're so funny and so cool. Imagine how much, how big There's they're- babies. <gasps> There's babies. There's babies? Oh my God, we gotta go. Oh my gosh, the babies. <laughs> how yeah, old? I'll give you a couple instructions. Okay. All right, how old are the babies? The couple in there are just three days old and then they're <laughs> a week is the rest of them. Wow, I see the three day old ones. Wow, they're adorable. <laughs> we want to hold them. <laughs> We're ready. We're ready for ostriches. <laughs> okay, you guys, you're not going to believe this, but... We're getting an ostrich. We're getting an ostrich. We're getting eggs. All right, so this place is so super cool. We just happened upon it. Perfect, um, perfect. Actually, do you want to just feed mine too? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh sweet Jesus. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> Those ones back there, they're like, feed me. <laughs> oh, we should have only got one bucket of food but look at how cute they are I'm right, obsessed on. you only can feed these ones oh no you can feed the 30 all right so what color do you like so that one. but I don't think you get to choose no I know so you can buy babies or you can buy eggs but it's a it's a huge endeavor You don't get any more. <laughs> They're just following us. They're so pretty. Anyways, they if they sell babies, they sell them at three months old. And they're pretty big. We're going to show you guys a three-month-old baby. So, this is an ostrich egg. This is what it would look like with that. Even, we'd have to get a new incubator to, to hatch them. Or just put them out in the sun. Anyways, you can stand on oh, it. Oh, look at them running. Do you want to stand on it, Sophie? No. So apparently this can hold up to 250 pounds or something. And she said we could stand on it. Isn't that cool? So it says here that ostriches are generally not aggressive and are very curious and happy to have visitors. However, a male in breeding season can be aggressive and have a completely different attitude during this time. Oh my gosh. They are stunning. Sam, we brought the dogs, so Sam had to stay in the car with the dogs. It's too bad. Wait, save some for the others. I still have a whole bucket. Not you. Be oh, nice. So Look at how cute. Oh my gosh, we're invaded by the ostriches. There's 30 in this pen. I want to run around. So. Like, get them to run along the fence. Do you have food? There's more coming. Holy moly, there's a lot coming. Save it. Save some for. Too bad that they don't get all the same. <laughs> They're adorable. I wanted. I did. I don't think I could handle more than two. She said you have to have two. <laughs> I 
Hi. But look at how pretty they are. Wow. They know what the food looks like too. They're like, they don't even look at my, they don't even try and eat my camera. So we'd have to have some pretty high fencing. I like this one. Chill. Here comes the last one too. Scary cat. All right, I don't want to use all my footage on these ones because we're going to go see babies now. I wish I'd have brought my phone. Look at this one over here. Okay. Oh. Quick eat. Dude. This one's so scared. Hi. <laughs> they have two feet. Like two toes. Yeah, I know. So emus have three toes, but ostriches have two toes. I follow ostrich channels because I love them. Actually, I follow emu channels, but... Whoa! <laughs> you want a feather? Yes! I want a feather to remember. Hi. They're so cute. Yeah, I've been toying with the idea of getting an emu. We're getting an ostrich. But now I think we want an ostrich for sure. So these are the babies. And if we bought a baby ostrich, they only sell them at three months. So that's how big they'd be right there. As big as our goose. Hi, baby! It came right to us. Hi! It's so adorable. Hi! We want one of you. We want two of you. And oh, these guys are bigger. Oh, look at how cute. With the, oh so, B, how are you going to handle an ostrich okay, if you're afraid of a rooster? Okay, roosters attack. And it's <laughs> so, <laughs> these would do. Hi. Hi, you are so freaking adorable. Oh my goodness. Hi, baby. This one yeah, so they're that's how big Hi. if we bought babies. Hi. So she said like Hi. basically even eggs are really expensive That one's scary. This one's cute. and ostriches are really expensive. So if you're gonna fork out a lot of money You want to make sure that they survive. So that's why they sell them like at three months old And you spend that much money, you know, you're gonna get a lot Because they need all of these they're using these they 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 eat them Sophie They make they breed them for meat this is the baby pen and then that's the step up pen. Somebody was asking me in the comments today, why do our silkies go in? Look, they only have regular waterers yeah, too. Like our ducks have to have huge waterers, but these guys can use those chicken waters. Anyway, somebody was asking me earlier in the comments about why do our silkies stay in a different pen? And it's because they're not ready yet. They don't eat the same food as as the bigger ones so they have to stay in their own area until they're bigger and also chickens can be quite mean to one another and silkies are especially a uh, gentle breed so they don't do as well in the in the big with the big chickens right away it's easier to leave them for a little bit longer this one's dust bathing anyway lots of research to do maybe we'll do a project in school sophie about emus and ostriches, but I really like the ostriches. They are freaking adorable. Like, never seen anything more adorable in my life. Ooh, <laughs> they're, they're <laughs> they say they can run like really, really fast. Oh, it must be feeding time or something because somebody's carrying this big bucket and they all ran. Or maybe they're just scared of it. They are adorable. I'm obsessed. But let's get a good view of this. See how they have the, like the roof on there? Sam and Dad would have to build us something like this for the first little while. Or you could just live in our house. <laughs> no, but I love them. Sophie found me a baby feather out there and gave it to me. But these are the adult feathers. Aren't they adorable? And the colors. Did we see any with white? Oh yeah, they have white. Wow. They have ostrich feather dusters and they have ostrich egg planters. 
we're gonna have our own. So we got some burgers because we're having ostrich for dinner, even though we won't eat our own babies. That was the coolest thing I've ever experienced in my life. I'm obsessed. Yeah, I know. They're, they're big though. <laughs> $25, I know, but I love them. $25 for four burgers or $30 for a bag of apples. <laughs> That's Canada for you. I'll go for the burgers instead of apples. I got a little tiny feather. They're so adorable. I'm obsessed. They're huge though, eh? Yeah. You'll be building a nice big roof. Okay, so sadly, an ostrich is not in our future. I was just researching it and did you know, Sophie, did you know that if you if you bond with them when they're babies, if you hatch them or you buy a baby and you bond with them, males will try and mate with you. Apparently they do not make good pets, but emus do make good pets. So I've always wanted an emu. It wasn't until we saw ostriches today that I kind of flipped and said ostriches are cooler. Ost emus definitely make better pets. We're gonna go back to that plan and hopefully get an emu in the summer. Ostriches can kill you with one kick. One kick. Yeah. And they don't make good pets. And if they're close to you, they'll try and breed you. The boys. We're getting an emu. <laughs> an emu is the same. No, emus make they're great pets. Shorter. No, emus make great pets. They're friendlier and they're nicer and they make better pets. Fencing? No, you need eight foot fencing. You can get away with six foot fencing, but you can you need eight foot. I came to feed Chino more his lunch, and I noticed that they haven't eat. He hasn't eaten all of his breakfast. I also noticed that he's a little more sore this morning, so we're gonna back off the grass a little. It makes me nervous that he's starting to become resistant to his antibiotics. Sometimes that can happen on a long-term course. Most people probably wouldn't even notice the difference in him today, but I'm so used to watching his every movement that I can notice the tiniest little change. So I wanna be really super careful and I'm just gonna watch and make sure that he's okay before moving forward. I want him to be better faster, but I need to listen to his body and take it one day at a time. Also, the weather is a lot better today. It's still quite hot, but it's shady and not as hot. You can walk around and not sweat. Yesterday, it just moving was making me sweat. Um, but someone suggested, someone suggested bringing the horses in during the day and with their fans on. And while I absolutely, and we have done that before at our old house, there were days where we left all the horses inside the arena area, like uh, this kind of area and fed them in there during the really hot part of the day. Cause it was always so cool. But at this house, we've been letting them kind of set the tone and they go out and they eat and when they get really hot and need a break from it, they come and they stand in here and um, they're doing a really good job taking care of the heat, making sure that they stay out of the heat all on their own. We're watching to make sure. And I love that they're able to choose that for themselves because they know when they need to get out of the heat. Don't you know that you're beautiful?